Fallout 76. This game is causing more conflict than... Well... However, unlike these scallywags, it's not just touching the kid inside... What do you mean I can't tell that joke? It's a good joke. Anyway, there has been general fan disliking across the board from people uh, that have grown up with this, this franchise and, and loved it for the past, you know, 20 years or, or more, I suppose. And as much as it was a bold choice from Bethesda to do this, I do feel personally that they've made quite a fun game to play. Um, and it is finally a game, a Fallout game that you can play with your friends, which I personally think is the, the main attraction for me. Um, all of my experiences on this game have been good so far, apart from a few glitches. However, I can understand where the criticism has come from. And uh, there's, there's been lots of sort of quirky little things in there like there is with every Fallout game. But more importantly, there has been plenty to do. For example, killing a Deathclaw with a tambourine. <laughs> Come on. Yes! There we go. <laughs> Playing with missile launchers. Reach for the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Making friends with the local wildlife. Now, one of the issues that I think the community was probably quite bothered about was grief killing. And in my experience, I hadn't had much of a problem with it at all. And until now. Um, it was only really a matter of time before something was bound to go wrong. And um, and it did. Just keep shooting, dude. Kill, I'm kill, just kill. limping across the battlefield. You killed me. What? Oh, I'm under attack by someone. Oh, dude, we're in trouble. You probably can so yeah, like, this was quite a concern of mine and, and Papa Salt's. Um, apparently I had a 10 cat bounty on me, I was not aware of it, if I did. Uh, but it turns out I did. Um, but why would a level 73 cross the map just for 10 precious caps? What, um... You know, what, what, at what cost would this come to? I mean, how can we fight back against the, the bourgeoisie here in, in, uh, in this conflict? And I'll tell you how. I'll, we'll get to that bit shortly. That's, that's coming right up after I talk a bit more. Some nonsense. Is this thing on? This is where we noticed the loot was missing. This, this is... I'm not sure if it was just down to me being an idiot. Or if the geezer had just taken it. And I, I think I would have given it benefit of the doubt personally. However, I was playing with someone who literally has the word salt in his name. So this was only ever going to go one way, really, let's be honest. Hold on, what's his name? Elliot. Uh, Elliot. Oh, six, six, six. Like, yo, can, you, can you come back and get us back out of Because we didn't actually like, kill him or anything. It was a flawless plan from start to finish that, that Jake had conjured up here. So yeah, by this point, a few messages had been exchanged. Uh, there was quite obviously a little bit of tension brewing between the two of them. I didn't know what was going on. Uh, my mind was on other things, such as, again, playing with the, the local wildlife, who so kindly, you know, brought their hospitality skills to welcome us to the, the West Virginian wasteland. And yeah, it was a nice little break in our, in our day, actually. It did break the day up quite generously, I think. For the past 10 months. Uh, fog crawlers, what the hell are they? Do not want anything to do with them, and they're coming after me. Okay, Jake, I bring gifts. <laughs> I bring gifts. I bring presents. Uh, they're somewhere. Yeah, look, check out these guys. They look fun. Oh no, big no, big no. <laughs> Have you seen my health? <laughs> <laughs> However, this was merely a distraction from the mission. Basically, we're just discovering, like, the right side of the map. But, these two rascals, these scallywags, they, they had ruined our trip around the mire, which was, which was slightly dampening. Is that a word? Dampening? Is that? Yeah, dampening's a word. Yeah, we'll, we'll throw that in. And this was, this is about the point where the, the story gets meaty. Uh, we're, we're talking, how much meat are we talking? Like, you, you've gone, you've gone for a lovely meal, right? You, you've been married 15 years, you've gone for a lovely meal, and you want to go full out for your 15th anniversary. You're taking her to the finest steak restaurant in the land. You're going to buy the best meat money can buy. Ah, oh, there's, there's so much meat. There's, there's enough meat to feed a, a small nation. 
Yeah, you know, like, there, there's levels to the amount of meatiness, um, and, and it feels real good when I say meatiness real close. I feel like the word meat does sort of emphasize a bit of, I don't know, like, it's it's quite an ASMR word, isn't it? It's mm, meat. Yeah, that bit's... Yeah, that bit'll stay in. I'll keep that bit in. Is he here with us? I can hear power armor. Oh, it's him again. Hi. Oh, this Elliot guy's here as well. At this moment, I suspected conflict straight away. But, I mean, I have my lucky, trusty tambourine at the, at the ready, so naturally prepared for the worst, hoped for the best. However, being my optimistic self, I, I thought this could be a good thing. They could, you know, they could be like, do you want to team up? We, we can scavenge the wasteland together. We've got high level loot. You've got sex appeal and a tambourine. Uh, however, it, J Jake being Jake, I think he already took the hostile approach himself, uh, as he does so well. They're helping us, to be fair. No, they're helping themselves. We just happen to be here. Nope. It didn't come out of the infrared. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. That no, that was him. I know. Oh, he's just here with an axe. Oh, God. Yeah. I think they're both trying to trap us, dude. Oh, they're, they're shooting me. We're not gonna... Yeah, we're not gonna be able to do it, dude. Tensions were high. Blood had been boiled at this point. And if I suppose if there is anyone you want to deal with this sort of situation, it is the Saltmeister himself. So, here we've got a lovely thread of the conversations he's been having with the chap. Um, Starts off with the, the nice simple, what we got, the okay, the okay emoji, you know, he, he just said like, okay, you kill me, okay. And obviously this guy has then returned with what? So Jake said nothing, literally he said nothing. And th this is where it starts to, to run away. Is it because I killed you because you shot first so I sh oh Jesus Christ, I'm having an aneurysm reading this. I shot the girl and you ran in the way. I could have shot you if I wanted to, but I didn't. I mean, it's a good thing he didn't, to be honest. He would have been dead in... Well, he was dead in second, and you would have died either way. <laughs> anyway, some messages were exchanged, to which I then got to the point where... Like, and I haven't seen this for some years, to be honest. Um, we, we had some good old trash talk, to be honest. I've not seen trash talk of this level since... Oh, God, the days of Modern Warfare 2 are earliest. You are a failed fucking abortion! That's how useless you are! You are a, you are a failure at everything! You can't shut the fuck up. You can't do anything right. You're a disappointment to your family. You should fucking die. You should commit suicide. But this is where it took a U-turn. I mean, fair enough, 1v1 on Rust, that's a completely different story. But 1v1 fist only seemed like a completely natural way to settle an event. That's how all situations should be solved. A good old battle of fisticuffs. So the guy, the, the guy agreed. I, fair play to the guy. He's like, he made our day. We had nothing else to do. We were just wandering around. But now, we have a motive. Dude, I sent him an emoji, and then he's like, what? And it, it just went from there. <laughs> I literally just You're sent such an emoji a toxic eight. player, dude. You are so dude, toxic. And then, like, his whole will to live just like came crumbling down from one okay sorry. <laughs> you are literally the most toxic player I've ever known right. in my life, dude. Wait, he, he said, oh, he's coming, he's coming. He has arrived. <laughs> This is incredible. Come to do battle. <laughs> I feel like you're the boxer and I'm sort of like your coach, just patting yeah, you on the shoulders, you giving you like you giving you a drink. Yeah. You got your gloves on. <laughs> we all message him. I'll be like, I've come to do battle. <laughs> <laughs> we, we've got a fight on our hands here. We we needed to to prepare. We needed to get in the right headset. We were we were hyped. We were on another level at this point. It, like I said, scores haven't been settled this way since the good old days of Modern Warfare 2. And uh, we were about to, to relive them golden days briefly. Ever so briefly. And I know what you're thinking. We haven't trained. But don't worry. We have. <laughs>
<laughs> this is the best idea we've ever had. <laughs> Here he comes, dude. He's coming to scout. <laughs> He's just making sure it's all good. <laughs> I'll wait for him. I need more wood. I need more wood. I don't have any bone. How on earth would the fight go ahead without wood? What would any fair man do in this situation? Luckily, Papa Sword had their whole thing under control. I said, just fill up your HP. Have you got any wood, Lamel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, yeah, I have the XD. He's dropping wood, dude, come get it. So that's what we did. We asked the guys for help, and luckily they obliged, because they turns out they're actually quite cool guys. However, we hadn't beaten them yet, so you know we, we couldn't credit them before the fight. That would have been that would have been pretty stupid of us. <laughs> and uh, yeah, luckily we were able to complete the ring, and uh, with the final preparations being made, obviously it just meant that there was one thing left to do before the fight. And we all know I love a good outfit, like. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I want to look good. He's like, I was like, he just has to fetch something from Saf. He's like, not a weapon, I hope. I was like, no, he's getting dressed. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Beautiful. Okay, <laughs> right in the blue corner, we have Antibacterial, who has spelt it horrifically. And in the red corner, we have our own homegrown Papa Salt. We good for you? We good for you. We good. We good for you. Everyone's good. Okay. All right. Go. <laughs> this is gonna take the concentration, man. He's got him on the ropes. <laughs> I think you might get him here, you know? Oh no, he's, he's got you. He's got you like. Sting like a bee. He's one punch away from getting you, dude. <laughs> oh, no. No. <laughs> So that's how scores shall now be settled on Fallout 76 from now on. If anyone has any issues with that, feel free to 1v1 us on the golf course. Um, also, we are considering opening a fight club in, in Fallout, because why not? You can gamble, you can fight, you can come and visit me, that would be pretty cool. If anyone is actually interested in doing that, that would be dope, I'm up for it. I will actually, I will actually dedicate time to building a proper boxing ring and setting up a proper fight club I think that would be worth the hassle I guess if not hassle if I enjoy it really is it it wouldn't I don't think it would be hassle at all actually if anything I want to do it please someone join fight club with me I need friends anyway if you did enjoy this uh, be sure to stick around and smash the freaking heck out of that subscribe button do you know what I mean um, please I'm very lonely I cry myself to sleep every night and drop likes um, we don't usually do this pop in thing so and yeah like hopefully we hope I think we found it we found a way to one make Fallout 76 fun two get rid of grief kill well not get rid of grief killing probably increase grief killing to be fair because this is how scores are going to be settled now 
and then what else? What else have we done? We've well, we didn't win, so there is that. But we uh, we got a good video out of it, I guess. So yeah, stick around, cherubs.